today students we are going to learn chapter 2 of standard 7 plant structure and function so come along let's enjoy it hey this video was made just for you do remember to like share and subscribe to begin with let's reflect on these two questions what helps us to easily identify the plants around us and which are the various parts of the plants now we all know that the root stem leaves flowers fruits that is the different parts of the plant are different of different plants and we can easily identify a plant with the help of sometimes by leaves sometimes by the fruit like mango fruit we know it's a mango tree okay if it is a banyan tree we can look at the tree we can look at the leaves we can look at the roots that it is giving out you know the aerial roots so by looking at a plant we can easily distinguish it that is we can find the characteristics or the features and identify the plant what kind of plant it is most of the plants we can identify there are many plants so there are all plants we can't identify but there are many plants that we can identify now in this lesson let us acquaint ourselves that is get to know each part of the plant and its organ in detail first let us learn the structure and function of the roots now for this let's try an activity now keep a moistened ball of crumpled paper in a clonical flask that is take any tissue paper or any uh, paper soft paper and moisten it that is just sprinkle water on it and put it in a conical flask now if you don't have a conical flask you can take any glass jar or even a glass tumbler and then on top of that place some soaked moth beans or gram seeds or any beans that you get hmm? that is moong or any other beans that you get on the paper and leave it for a few days now every day just observe it and if you find that the seeds have dried out just sprinkle some water just sprinkle don't pour water just sprinkle a little water so that it gets water and it is moistened now observe every day in two or three days you will find that some white thread like you know things are coming out of the seeds now you'll find two parts of it coming out so what are these let's find out if you plant these seeds in the soil you will find that one part will grow towards the soil now this part is called the radical and the other part will grow above the ground so that part is called the plumule that part that forms the radical grows into the ground now this part is thick near the ground and gradually tapers to a pointed end that is it becomes thinner and thinner and it will grow deep into the soil so this part of the plant growing below the soil will support the plant so that is that is why it is called the root so this part that is the radical forms the root of the plant observe the picture very carefully now roots of some plants produce secondary roots that is there will be roots coming out from the main root that is the primary root so the root that goes the radical that goes into the ground is called the primary root and from there we will find that some root like structure coming out from this main root so from the primary root you will find some more roots coming out and they are called the secondary roots now these spread obliquely that is they go far and wide sideways and they spread wide into the soil so why do they do that one of the function is to support the plant so it will form like an anchor to the plant and it will support the plant now this type of root system is called the tap root system that is one main root and other roots branching out from this root that is secondary roots coming out of the primary root such type of root system is called the tap root system now these secondary roots bear hair like processes near the root tips so these are called the root hairs and at the tip of the root okay the last the down part right end that that is root tip it is very very delicate it is very very soft and if it breaks it may harm the root system so therefore in order 
that it gets protected there is a cap like structure growing on it so that is called the root cap and it protects the root the tip of the root from injury or from any harm or from breaking off to know more about the roots now let's do another activity now take a glass jar or you can take a glass tumbler and fill it three quarters with water so three fourth of it you have to fill it with water now on the mouth of this glass jar or a glass tumbler place an onion okay so you have to place an onion such that the onion remains on the mouth of it it doesn't go inside doesn't sink inside and just see that the end part of the onion is you know getting water that is it is you know observing it is soaked in water not the full onion but only the end part of it and observe this for 8 days so keep observing it every day so you will slowly find that there will be thread like structures coming out of this end okay so these are called these are called the fibrous roots so these will form a root roots and they will be thread like or fiber like they will not be the one that we earlier saw it will not be tap root system it will not be one main root and other roots branching out but here you will find that there are thread like or fiber like uh, roots many many roots coming out from one part one part of the onion okay and spreading out so this type of root system is called the fibrous root system thus there are two main types of roots that is one is the tap roots and the other is the fibrous roots in tap roots we have one main root and other roots branching out from it and in the fibrous roots there will be fiber like or thread like structures coming out from one part only many many fibers or many roots coming out from one part one end of the plant and spreading out in all directions so those are the fibrous roots Dicotyledonous plants have tap roots while monocotyledonous plants have fibrous roots. Now, what do you mean by dicotyledonous? Dicotyledonous are seeds that have two parts to it. When you open up, there will be two parts to it. For example, our grams, our green peas, our uh, groundnuts. So, you can open up into two parts. Whereas monocotyledonous, that is seeds like rice, uh, seeds like wheat, they have one part. So, these seeds will grow and have fibrous roots. Let's do another activity. Now, sow the seeds of plants like mustard, sorghum, that is johar, maize, that is corn, pea, coriander, etc. in an earthen pot. Plant, you can plant it separately or you can take any other seeds. Okay, plant them separately in the soil. Now, cultivate the plants for 8 days. That is, let them grow, water it and put, keep it out in the sunlight and let them grow for 8 days and keep observing it every day. Once the plants grow to 15 to 20 centimeters height, uproot them carefully. That is, remove them from the soil very, very carefully. See that the roots don't break off. Okay, while, they, while the soil is still moist, that is, it's still wet. And put them gently in a large conical flask containing water. You can use a glass jar or a glass tumbler for this. So, the soil will be washed off without any harm to the roots. Observe the roots of all these plants very, very carefully and see which plants have grown have grown tap roots and which have grown fibrous roots. And when you notice that it has tap roots, so were they dicotyledonous seeds or monocotyledonous seeds so observe it and note down your observations and see what you find look at this picture very carefully you will find some roots coming out of the stem so plants like maize sugarcane sorghum that is jawar have two types of roots some roots grow underground like the normal roots they grow from the uh, they grow deep into the soil and some roots grow from the stem just above the soil and these also will move towards the soil so such roots that grow from the stem are called adventitious roots the two main functions of the roots are one is to absorb all the water and the minerals from the soil and to give it to the different parts of the plant and another main uh, function of the roots are for anchoring and supporting the plant that is they spread deep and wide into the soil and so they are a support to the plant 
Now, apart from these two functions, roots also perform many other functions. So, we'll, let's learn about them in detail one by one. Now, observe these pictures very carefully. In the first picture, it is a picture of the banyan tree. You find some structures coming out from the branches. Now, these will go deep into the soil and they'll form roots. So, what are these? These are called the aerial roots. So, so such roots will, what they do is they will support the branches because a banyan tree spreads far and wide. Okay, the branches of the banyan tree will spread out very very far so therefore in order to support these branches there will be roots growing out from the branches and they will go into the soil and will form a support to the branches and the tree itself so they are like a, again forming an anchor to the uh, tree so this these are called the aerial roots then in the second picture you will find that the roots are coming out and from the branches and they're going back into the soil so such roots are called the still roots okay then we have roots coming from the soil up above so these are called the breathing roots okay so they help in breathing taking the oxygen normally we find all these roots where there is a lot of water marshy lands okay so these roots and in the fourth picture you'll find that the roots are you know the plant is going and moving in the soil so these are called the runner roots so they will branch out from one part to the other and they will keep moving and they are all connected to each other so these are called the runner roots let's try another activity now take some water in a glass jar put a plantlet in it in such a way that its roots are dipped in the water what do you mean by a plantlet a small plant a small sapling where the roots are prominent Mark the water level on the jar. So you have to mark where the water level was from outside the jar and add 5 ml of water. That is just a 1 teaspoon of oil in the water. So the oil will float on top of the water. Now record the water level the next day. So keep it aside and on the next day, now check where the water level has reached and discuss your observation in the class. Now, to check the, uh, your answer, please visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com. Use your brain power. Reflect on these questions and think about it. Number one, what would have happened if plants like tamarind, banyan and mango had fibrous roots? They have tap roots. So, what would happen to them if they had fibrous roots? So, think about it. Second question, what will happen if the root tip is injured? We know that there is a tip of the root which goes deep into the soil. And if this root tip is injured, what will happen? Question number three is, which type of roots do the fenugreek, spinach and onion plants have? So think about all these answers. And to check your answers, you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com. Do you know? Roots emerging from the trunk and branches of a banyan tree grow towards the soil. We had seen it in the earlier picture also. How the roots come out from the branches and they move towards the ground and go into the soil. Now these roots are called prop roots or aerial roots. Now what could be the use of these roots? Think about it. Now in the beginning when the banyan tree is very small, when the banyan tree has very few prop roots, Later, the number increases so much that it appears like a small forest. So, you can see it in the picture given alongside. So, the branches spread so much and the roots go into the soil. So, it looks like as if there is a row of trees growing. Now, in Kolkata, a 250-year-old banyan tree in the Indian Botanical Garden covers a very large area. So, if you happen to visit Kolkata, please do visit the Indian Botanical Garden and you can see this banyan tree which is 250 years old. So, this tree is spreading to a very large area. It is supported by thousands of prop roots. Is there any such tree in your neighborhood? So, go around your neighborhood and you can just find out if there are any more banyan trees which are very old. Try to find out more about it. 
look at the branches look at the roots and if you can get the information of how old it is well and good you can ask some you know, people who are there in the neighborhood and note down and look at it and compare it i'm sure you must have eaten a lot of these plants like radish carrot beet sweet potato now if you notice carefully they are the underground parts okay and these are thick and fleshy and swollen so why do these parts grow under the ground and which part of the plant are they so think about it reflect find out the answers and to check your answers you can go to our website at www.jkacademypro.com this is end of part 1 for a complete lesson do watch part 2 I hope you enjoyed learning this lesson. To check your answers to the textual questions, please visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com.